So next up in the series is Dragunov. In season three, he's improved quite a bit. So um, let's go over what he, let's go over what we can do with, against him. So for example, is Wild Running Two. Of course, everyone knows Wild Running Two is really good. Uh, plus six, it got buffed in this season, so it's, uh, it gains one more plus frame advantage, but it's also easier to step. So he is currently plus six, I believe, after Wild Running Two a block. However. I'll show you a few things actually. So, so we're running to into downforce one. We can step, and apparently this is meant to be working against most characters, but against Oscar or maybe other female characters. I don't know, but they can step the downforce one, which is not meant to be possible, and the tempo four as well. She can step this also. Downforce two, we can go rush against as well. We can go rush. Back four, we can go right. Now down two will hit you if you do do side step right. But if you do side step right into quick duck, uh, let me mess it up. Into side step right into quick duck, you'll avoid those mids from earlier, and you'll block the down two. So side step right into quick duck is a pretty nice option against Dragonov when he's at plus frames. However, you can do stuff like down back two. You can do stuff like um this into jabs. You can do. I won't record these out, but you can do um, a back three as well as homey move. So then back two, two one, and back three will track you from going side side right in that situation. So just watch out for those moves. Let's see. Let's so then back two into this. We'll run running two into this. So we can't even 2 plus 3 it, so I think you just have to take it, unless he, I think he can go left. No, he can't go left against it. I think you just have to block this move as Asuka. Another thing is um, this into 0 4 4 I think this also tracks size at right. It does, yeah. 0 4 4 also tracks size at right, so also be careful, watch out for this move as well. However, if you think he's going to do it, you can go left against it, or if you're brave enough, you can mash him out of it. So you just have to, you have to take reads here. You have to take reads in this situation, but generally, size out right into quick duck is good against most of his options. Now, down two on hit. This is this is the the famous one. So down two into Wasani four is a common flow chart that a lot of dragon offs use. However, you can actually go left against this. It's a little bit tricky, but you can go left against it. And just yeah, see, it, it's kind of weird. It's a little bit finicky, but it is possible to go left against it. So I'll try to show off a few times. Yeah, see, it's possible to go left against it, against the Wasani 4 from down to follow up. And because it doesn't force crouching anymore, you can do this on both sides. So this will avoid Wasani 1. So in case they go for um, the wall bends from down 2, it will avoid off of 4. Oh. And Wasani 2, of course, will avoid Wasani 2. And it will avoid the shoulder. And you can make sure you launch all these when you stop them as well. So um, those are kind of the options you can do against Dragonov. Obviously Dragonov can just do, for example, down 2 into down 2, or down 2 FC down 4, or down 2 crunch cancel buttons or whatever. So it's not obviously a 100% option, nothing in Tekken is. But it's good to know those anyway. So left, after eating well, down 2, is um, generally good. Let's just go over some cheesy strings. So, um, down four, I see, uh, down, what was it? Oh, sorry, it's down, it's down three, four. Down three, four, if you block this, and then it's cheesy again, but you can punish with magic four, because uh, it's only minus 11, so punish that with magic four. And this is another wee, weird string. So, four, three, three is minus 12. So make sure you, make sure you two, three does. If they try to press you with 4-4, four, four, try and uh, step this. You can step this and get to, uh, maybe you can get this back. But 4-2 anyway, oh. Delay the 4-2. That was not punish. That was not punish either. Okay, you see what I mean? You have, you have to be a bit quick with the 4-2. Uh, but however, 4-3 will stop this, so watch out for this. This is a high mid and it's minus 12, so make sure you punish this. Now this is also important, the map 2-1, if they try to counter confirm with this, um, 
The second hit is actually my son, which obviously kind of is pretty shit for us. But um, we have to take it, and if they finish it, it's minus fourteen. And if they delay the last hit, we can step. So just keep keep those options in mind. Uh, one one three. Now you have to do the second hit on this because there's nothing else you can do about it. And you have to do something quick because the follow up will interrupt you doing while sign three most of the time if you're not ready in match. If you even delay while sign three a little bit, it's gonna hit you. So I would just do while signing one four if, unless you're like hundred percent ready. Otherwise the mid the kick is safe. If he delays it though, if he delays it, again like the other string. You can all stop. Uh this whole string, a lot of Dragonovs like to throw this against the wall because um, it's a 10 frame uh, counter hit string and when you, when you block it, make sure you punish with minus 14 moves, with uh, 14 frame moves. And make sure you punish 4 4 2 because they get this a lot if they mess up the instinct while running 2 and they'll get 4 4 2 a lot so make sure you punish this with minus 12 optimally. Uh, down 4 4 is also important because a lot of Dragonovs like to use this as a round ender because you can't press, you can't punish the low, but while standing for, what you can do is you can dick jab to cover both options. This will punish down four on its own, and it'll punish the high follow up. If you have the read, you can just duck the high follow up and go for a launcher. If you're not sure, then you can just dick jab. So down four on its own, so we'll get punished by dick jab. So dick jab just a little options left. <clears throat> Two one three and two one four. You can just hold down for it against both these options. Let me turn off the low for. You can just hold down for it against these options. Your low parry or your duck the high. There's no mix up there. Uh, let's see what else there. Down four one. Miss your lookout for this. Every dragon up will do this in the world. Every dragon up will do this. Nobody does it. Olsen does uh, all the Dragonovs, um, even JDCR's Dragonov did it, so just watch out for Death Point 1 4. It will come out eventually. Uh, step in against Wild 1 2, generally you want to go left. You can go both ways, but left is generally better, I think. And then if you manage to get us back clean, you can do this punish. But it's kind of finicky. And uh, his rage drive. Let's see. Opponent rage. Uh, this is a bit of a shitty situation because. Uh... Okay, how do I do the. There we go. So. This one trope. You have to um, hop kick this. If you think he's gonna do tackle, you have to hop kick. You have no real choice, you have no real choice really. But to hop kick. However, if he does something like, say, I messed up there. However, you can do something like this, or convert it into a screw, or you know, you know, whatever. Like something dumb, to be honest. You can uh, counter hit you trying to hop kick him out of the tackle, so it's a little mix up built in, because the tackle, as far as I know, is unbreakable. I don't think you can actually break this in any way. And uh, let me just switch characters here a little bit. I want to show you what um, Asuka can do against Dragonov. It's actually really nice. Thank God for some slap, by the way. So down four on hit, or just any uh, situation into what's on in three. So it beats down four to one. It beats back two. It beats back four. Um, it doesn't beat them for two. It doesn't beat them back two. But them for one is common. Of course, Charles will get crushed as well. I have more notes here. Uh, it goes over off for four as well. And it goes over down for four as well. So obviously, and uh, of course, if Dragonaut blocks it, his bench punishes off for two or. Um, Oh, 4 to 1, sorry. 
I don't know up to a follow up, but it, it punishes with all four to one, so it's not too horrible on block. Like he can launch it if he space it a little bit. So that's it for Dragonov really. Well, running to size that right into Quick Duck is good against it, and when he starts doing other stuff to beat Dash, then you um, counter those options like duck under them or counter him or whatever. Then to you go left when you eat when you eat them for well, sorry when you eat then to you go left generally. And then all those trains just have to know them like any other matchup. Going left against while running to it neutral is better. Rage dive, you have to hop kick it if you read it. And Wasang 3 is cheap against Dragonov because it goes under a lot of his mids. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.